five, four, three. So, uh, I guess to start it off, at number five would be leaving Dragon Con, because my friends are heads. From the moment I got on the train outside the hotel room to the second I went past security, I had nothing but my friends showing me videos as well as telling me how planes are safe and everything until they go down and crash and burn. The one thing I thought, I, the one person I thought I could trust, which I don't know why, was Jamaican Steve. And he was the one that showed me the plane slowly. He wanted me to show, see the safety features on planes and how they're go so good. So you see it going back into the ground and exploding. Damn it! Number four for me would have to be Otakon, when they put Mr. Bubble in the fountain. Uh, I got there Friday night, like midnight. I'm not sure if it was in as of Thursday, and I don't know how long it's been in there on Friday. But um, I didn't see, I, there was nothing but suds by Sunday, but there were still bubbles in it on uh, Saturday. So yeah, that was hilarious. And people were swimming in the fountain. The cops tried to stop it, but there was way too many people and the cops gave up. So it was really funny to see just a fountain amassing an extreme amount of bubble. Number three would have to be getting no sleep at Katsukan. Because it was hilarious. I got maybe an hour or two of sleep until I was woken up by everybody screaming about Neopets. And then I woke up, and yeah, I bet everybody watching this is probably going, oh my god, Neopets, because that's exactly what happened that woke me up. And then I proceeded to quote Dragon Ball Z abridged, and that's when everybody got high, because I couldn't, and no one thought I was up, so everyone started laughing. And then the rest of the night, we decided to torment Ricardo with feet. That was hilarious. Me and Montana tried to to uh, put our feet on him. He got mad. I mentioned feet. Ricardo got up to beat me up because I was mentioning feet. So I put my feet up in the air and he, he hates feet. So he hates feet. feet gross him out. Why so I, I don't know. Why are we having this conversation? <laughs> so So he was coming to get me. So I was like between the bed and like the counter. The TV stand, actually. So when he came to get me, I just put my feet up like this and was like, come get me. And he realized, and he stood there and he just stared because he couldn't get to me because my feet were in the way. So that was really funny. So yeah, that, that, that was, uh, and that was the start of the con season. So it was like after, you know, not going to cons for a while and then doing that and it, the con didn't even start yet. It was a great way to start, start the whole year off. Um, next was Anime Next annihilating the uh, volcano cake thing at Rainforest Cafe right after we left the con. Um, how many was this? There was like, there's a bunch. There was like nine of us. And well, they gave us a lava cake because some asshole, I don't know which one of the assholes, but someone, when me and Sam both went to the bathroom at the same time, proceeded to say how it was both our birthdays. Yes. I just don't know which asshole it was. Ernie. Oh, it Ernie. Oh, okay. I thought it was a Filipino asshole. But, yeah, so they, they sang us happy birthday and everything at Rainforest Cafe. And then we all picked up a spoon and annihilated that cake within 30 seconds. Um, the only other creature on the planet that I've seen been able to annihilate anything in 30 seconds are piranha. So, that was pretty awesome. And it was delicious. And my final moment has got to be the start of Dragon Con, swimming with the whale sharks, which was freaking awesome. I would, I recommend it to anybody. Uh, I don't know if they do it during this special event during Dragon Con. I know they do have a special event where you can go to the aquarium. I think it's Saturday night, it might be Friday night. Being that the con goes till Monday, I have no idea which day it is because that's a long con. It's my favorite, but uh, they do have an event 
I think it goes between like six and nine uh, it, at the aquarium. Uh, only con goers can go. It is an extra fee. I don't know how much it is, but I don't know if you could do the extra stuff like, you know, uh, petting the beluga whales or swimming with the whale sharks, any of that extra stuff that you do pay extra for. I don't know if they still do that at night. Uh, it'd be cool if they did, but uh, definitely an amazing uh, moment. You do get a dive buddy uh, who you're supposed to pair, pair up with and swim. I just did the snorkeling, so I didn't do the dive dive. I, you need to be a certified diver to do it. But uh, it's actually better to do it snorkeling, I must say, because the whale sharks stay closer to the surface. So if you were diving, you'd be at the bottom and you'd be looking up at them, which would be really cool. But the whale sharks, when you're snorkeling, come within a few feet of you. If you really tried, you probably could touch them. We're told not to. So it was like, oh, I really want them to touch you. I really want that. I really want to touch it. But if they bump you, if they bump you, it's totally okay. So I kept trying to get them to accidentally hit me. They didn't. But uh, that was an amazing moment. It was about 45 minutes to an hour being in the tank. Uh, four whale sharks. There are some other sharks in there too, but that's definitely my top moment the whole year.